The ocean makes up most of the surface of our planet. Much to our dismay, humans aren't really suited to exploring the deep, dark abyss of the waters. The deeper we go into the ocean, the higher the pressure gets. So far, the deepest depth that a human has reached is about 1,000 feet underwater. This is incredibly impressive considering most people can't bear to swim in depths below 150 feet. But the thing that makes the deep sea scary is not just the crushing pressure or the possibility of drowning. What makes it horrifying is the creatures lurking below the surface. Literal nightmare material. In this video, I'll show you some scary sea monsters that you would think only existed in horror movies. From the sarcastic fringe head to the northern stargazer, here are the 15 most terrifying monsters found in the deep sea. Number 15. Sarcastic Fringe Head You're probably wondering if there's an actual creature named Sarcastic Fringe Head. I know it sounds more like a made-up insult name for someone, but this creature very much exists, and it really fits its name. Meet the Sarcastic Fringe Head. I know he looks weird, but trust me, he ain't the weirdest creature that lives in the ocean. These guys live in relatively shallow waters than the rest of the sea creatures in this video. But we'll get to the freakier monsters in a bit. The sarcastic fringe head is big-mouthed and has quite the attitude. Male sarcastic fringe heads in particular are quite impressive. They're known to open their incredibly large mouths in the direction of their rivals. And from there on, they'll engage in a who has the biggest mouth contest. This is how they compete for mates and how they protect their territories. Males don't just stop by showing off their mouths full size. They also try to intimidate their rivals by almost crushing their mouths into each other. After this bizarre showdown, the smaller one of the two will be the one to step down and leave. In short, these guys don't really fight. They just look at each other and decide who's going to be the winner. Little is known about these creatures regarding their feeding habits. But with the size of their mouths, researchers assume that they feed on squid eggs and other similar food. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now. Number 14. Hagfish The hagfish, also known as slime eels, are known to be the most disgusting animals in the ocean. I think saying they're the ickiest animals on the whole planet is a bit of a stretch, but I'll let you decide that for yourself. The hagfish looks like an eel, and they have four pairs of thin sensory tentacles around their mouths to find food. By food, I mean the carcass of creatures underwater. There are 76 known species of hagfish, and they live in cold waters around the globe, usually in depths as deep as 5,600 feet. Depending on the species, the hagfish can be only several inches long or as long as 4 feet. These creatures don't really see well, but they have an incredibly developed sense of touch and smell which they use to navigate and find food. Their eating habits are what make these creatures disgusting. They've been observed to hunt live fish before but their most preferred way of eating is by devouring dead and dying creatures on the seafloor. These guys will often bury themselves into the carcass and eat the dead creature from the inside out. Sounds macabre and horrific, but it's an incredibly important process. Hagfish and other creatures with the same feeding habits are practically deep-sea janitors that help clean and recycle the dead animals on the seafloor. Competition may be tough in the abyss, but the hagfish has no problem skipping meals. In fact, they're known to survive for months without eating, thanks to their incredibly slow metabolism and to their super skin. Not only do these creatures breathe through their skin, but they can also absorb nutrients using their skin. Now onto the awesome part, or should I say, onto the ickier part. The hagfish is known for its ability to produce copious amounts of sticky, gooey slime. They use this to repel or escape predators by either slipping past them or clogging the gills of their attackers with the slime. But despite their bad eating habits and their sliming tendencies, the hagfish could be the fiber producers of the future. The slime they make is known to contain tens of thousands of incredibly thin protein threads which can be useful in making nylon or plastic. Number 13. Goblin Shark If I'm being honest, I would rather see a great white rather than a goblin shark. Being chased by one is a different story though. Great white sharks may currently be recognized as the most terrifying shark by many, but the goblin shark has a much more monstrous appearance. Just take a look at this. These sharks are named for their goblin-like appearance, starting from their weird mouth and their snout. These fish have their jaws connected to flaps of skin that can unfold from their snouts. At first, they'll look like they have huge underbites, but when they want to catch prey, they can extend their jaws up to three inches outward. They unextend it once they successfully caught the prey. They may look hideous, 
but that's just about the only terrifying thing about these guys. Unlike most of their well-known kin, goblin sharks don't swim at torpedo-like speed. They take their time in the water and swim at a leisurely pace. Seeing them can be pretty intimidating though, as they can grow up to 12 feet long and can weigh up to 460 pounds. Despite their size and appearance, they're not threatening to humans because they rarely show themselves. Goblin sharks choose to stay at the bottom of the ocean along the continental shelves. However, even if they see people, it's highly unlikely that these gentle creatures would attack. Number 12. Vampire Squid This is the Vampire Squid, and it's yet another weird sea creature that will boggle your mind. Their scary appearance aside, let me tell you the most confusing thing about them. First of all, they may be called Vampire Squid, but these creatures are neither vampires nor squid and they're not even considered octopus. So what exactly are they? The vampire squid is a unique animal that has been separated by scientists into its own group. They don't suck blood either, and they only got their name because of their dark color and the cape-like flap in their bodies. I guess if vampires were to take the form of a sea creature, they would look something like this. Many call the vampire squid the sea creature from hell. Considering that these guys live in depths of 2,000 to 3,000 feet, it's safe to say that these animals really are monsters of the abyss. The vampire squid is considered an extremophile because they thrive in the extreme environment underwater. Their appearance and their ability to survive the crushing pressure underwater isn't the only thing that makes the vampire squid unique. Unlike other cephalopods that eject ink or camouflage themselves when threatened, the vampire squid does something a little more flashy and icky. Instead, the vampire squid inverts its cape and displays the large spines it has on the underside of its arms. If the threat persists, they'll resort to their ultimate weapon, a copious cloud of sticky glowing mucus. Yikes! Number 11. Japanese Spider Crab I bet some of you like the idea of eating fresh crab, but if you're not used to seeing the Japanese spider crab, you wouldn't even think of trying to eat them. These guys literally look like the sea monsters featured in an old sci-fi film with their huge legs and small bodies. They can be found in the northwestern Pacific Ocean at depths of 660 to 1,800 feet. It's quite odd to see these guys underwater. Their carapace usually grows up to 12 inches across, a stark contrast to their gigantic limber legs that can be up to 12 feet from claw to claw. The reason for this is that their claws continue to grow even as they reach adulthood. The Japanese spider crab kind of looks like an underwater spider, and many people get shaken by its appearance. However, they're the perfect example of don't judge the book by its cover. They may look like they're ready to jump on your face and take out your organs, but spider crabs are gentle creatures. They're slow moving and spend their time walking on the seafloor. I guess that's why they have such long legs. They can't swim, so to compensate, they're extra efficient while walking on the seafloor. All these creatures eat are mollusks, algae, and small marine invertebrates. But usually, they prefer to just scavenge and look for dead and decaying matter along the seafloor. Number 10. Gulper Eel The gulper eel, also known as the pelican or umbrella mouth eel, lives in depths between 500 to 6,000 feet. These creatures can grow between 3 to 6 feet long, and they may not be the biggest creature in the deep sea, but they are among the most horrifying solely because of their appearance. The gulper eel does its name justice. They have the most different appearance among eel species with their small eyes, tiny pectoral fins, whip-like tail, and enormous mouth. Gulper eels are known to have the ability to expand their mouths to incredible proportions just to swallow their prey whole. Despite their slim bodies, the gulper eel isn't really agile. Instead of chasing their prey, it's generally believed that they use the light at the tip of their tails as a lure. Once they see someone take the bait, they'll quickly use their mouths to secure their prey. I guess we have to be thankful that unlike most creatures living in the deepest parts of the ocean, the gulper eel doesn't grow big enough. If they did, I really think they'd be able to swallow any unsuspecting human they'd see. Number 9. Frilled Shark I have to admit that the frilled shark is a weird mix of cute and horrifying. These sharks are known to be living fossils because they've changed so little since prehistoric times. Their numbers are generally unknown because they're so rarely seen. They're known to grow up to 7 feet long, and they choose to stay in the deepest and darkest parts of the ocean. They got their name from their gills, which go all the way across their throats, making them look frilly. Unlike their kin, the frilled shark is known to strike its prey like a snake, although most of the time they choose to just chill. 
It's believed that these creatures hover in the water with their elongated body cavities and huge livers. This means that they're buoyant underwater. Considering they've only been discovered in the 19th century, not much is known about them. What we do know, however, is that most people that have seen them for the first time thought that they have seen a prehistoric shark. They look the same pretty much most of their lives, and they usually pass away at around 25 years of age. Number 8. Giant Squid Imagine a squid as big as a school bus. Sounds pretty horrifying, right? It's not a commonly known fact, but there is a squid out there that grow up to 40 feet long and weigh almost a ton. No, this squid isn't suited to be seafood. They're too terrifying for that. They're known to live in the twilight zone at depths between 1,000 feet and 2,000 feet. We only had a few chances of studying live specimens of giant squid, so we know little about them. In fact, for many years we believed that they're only a thing of legends and they couldn't possibly exist. Some people believe that the legend of the Kraken came from a giant squid, but we can't be too sure. Now you're probably wondering whether this creature can hurt you or not. Well, considering they live at depths of 1,000 feet or more, I'm pretty sure you'd have no reason to encounter these gigantic creatures. Unless, of course, they decide to wreak havoc in shallow water. Okay, I'm kidding. Most sea monsters that live in the deep sea, especially creatures like the giant squid, don't have the capability of surviving shallow waters. It's like reversing the pressure for us. Just like how we can't go underwater because of the high pressure that can crush us, there's a huge chance that deep sea creatures would simply burst if they go in shallow waters where there's lower pressure. But if you're curious whether a giant squid has enough strength as the legendary kraken, research suggests that they don't. They're stronger than their smaller relatives, sure, but they're not really mutant creatures with insane strength. Number 7. Giant Isopods There's just something about cockroaches that make them quite unnerving to look at. What if I told you that there are actually underwater roaches? Roaches with armor covering their bodies, 14 legs, and grow up to 16 inches. Upon seeing this creature, most people would prefer to stay in shallow waters. The giant isopod was discovered in 1879, and we're yet to make groundbreaking research about them. We do know that they like to live at depths between 550 to 7,000 feet deep. Their habitats range from Indo-West Pacific and the Western Atlantic Ocean. Number 6. Proboscis Worm I would bet that the proboscis worm is one of the most terrifying creatures you'll ever discover in your entire life. I'm saying this not because they can easily end your life, but because for many people, their appearance and their strange defensive mechanisms are incredibly shocking. For one, they can grow up to 2 meters in length, and most of them either look like intestines or some strange wriggling flesh. There are many species of proboscis worms, and they can be found in shallow or deep waters. One particular species is known for its ability to spray milky goo, which is basically made up of its guts. Horrifying, right? Number 5. Sturgeon Sturgeons are creatures that lived among the dinosaurs some 200 million years ago. If you've never seen them, you would think they aren't real because of their bony appearance. For millions of years, this armored creature roamed the waters, including American pipes and waterways. According to researchers, they first evolved millions of years ago. However, because of mankind's interference, their populations have extremely decreased. Today, we're starting to see more of them, but their numbers are still endangered. Some species of sturgeon are now being seen as incredibly valuable creatures. Their highly prized row sells for hundreds to thousands of dollars. And now it's time for today's topic. If we're talking about one of the most terrifying monsters found in the deep sea, then surely mermaids are among them. We've heard a lot of tales about mermaids as early as the 1800s, and even before that. Many sailors often claim that they've seen people with lower bodies of fish. Mermaids are said to be incredibly alluring creatures that use their charm to lure in sailors. Over the past few decades, there have been a huge number of mermaid sightings around the entire globe. Just take a look at this one. This has been uploaded by an anonymous user claiming that they finally found a solid piece of evidence about the existence of mermaids. The creature in the image is lying on the floor unconscious, but you can clearly see its long tail and its upper human body. Many believe that this is yet again another hoax. However, many believe that mermaids really do exist. What's your opinion on this matter? As always, comment down below with the hashtag today's topic and let us know your opinion about what we just showed on screen. With that said, let's keep things moving. Number 4. Rat Tails Introducing the Rat Tails they're small, they're weird, they're creepy looking. 
Rat tails or grenadiers are creatures that are only about 46 to 65 centimeters long. They're usually gray to grayish brown when they're young, and they slowly change to a darker color as they grow into adults. They live in deep waters ranging from 300 to 3,700 meters, deep off the coasts of the North Pacific. Their habitat ranges from northern Japan to the Bering Sea, and even as far south as northern Mexico. One thing you'll notice first about rat tails are their weird eyes. They're deprived of sunlight, and they live in a place where food is scarce. To survive, they'll use their big bluish eyes to spot the tiniest sign of light or bioluminescence, which literally translates to living light. Aside from their eyes, they also use their sense of touch and smell to find food, especially rotting meat. They're known as scavengers that typically feed on decaying matter on the seafloor. Despite living deep in the ocean, there have been several times when rat tails have been accidentally captured by clueless deep-sea fishermen. When that happens, anyone who sees them for the first time usually freaks out because of their huge eyes that are extremely out of proportion with their tiny bodies. Number 3. Faceless Cuskeel I don't know about you, but seeing an underwater creature this big is already pretty terrifying. What made it more creepy though is that it's literally faceless. I mean, just look at that. Where you would expect to see eyes or scales is empty. This creature is known as the faceless cusk eel, and they look like they can haunt you in your dreams. They inhabit the Indian and Pacific Oceans where they choose to stay at depths from 12,910 to 16,000 feet. Around these depths, the water is incredibly freezing and the seafloor is relatively barren. Even if you look closely, these creatures really don't have any discernible eyes. But in reality, they do possess eyes. However, the eyes of giant faceless cusk eels are exponentially, and I mean exponentially, smaller than their other kin. It seems like this creature likes to keep all of their features hidden. Aside from their eyes, their mouths are also hidden under their huge bulbous heads. Once they open their mouth, you'll see close-set teeth, which they use to snack on crustaceans and other small creatures they catch in the deep sea. Number 2. Fangtooth What you're looking at is the fangtooth fish. These sea creatures definitely live up to their name, with teeth so long that they can't even close their mouths. If they were like the giant sea creatures, they would have been more terrifying, but thankfully they only grow up to 6 inches in length. Even if they were larger, they don't really like staying in shallow water. You see, these guys choose to chill in the twilight zone. I'm talking about depths of about 1,000 feet below the surface. In fact, they've been found as deep as 16,000 feet underwater. In the abyss, these guys are opportunistic hunters that use their strong sense of smell to search for prey all around the water. Once they sense that suitable prey is nearby, they utilize their scary fangs like a trap, snatching the poor victim before it even has time to react. Number 1. Northern Stargazer Just by looking at this picture, I think it's easy to determine why the Northern Stargazer is included in this video. Who wouldn't be intimidated if they see a face sticking out of the sand that looks as menacing as this one? If you don't like their appearance, don't feel too bad because the majority of the population agrees with you. In fact, northern stargazers are listed as the ugliest fish on the planet. Their names may sound dreamy. In fact, a part of their scientific names even literally means one who aims at the stars. Sounds sweet, right? Well, that's about the only dreamy thing about these creatures. They have flat bodies, extremely large heads, and weird eyes that always seem to be gazing upwards. They're also quite small only growing up to 22 inches in length at their largest. They only average around 8 to 18 inches long. Northern stargazers live at the bottom of deep open waters where they hide and wait for the right opportunity to grab small fish, crabs, and other crustaceans that pass by them. These guys spend most of their lives buried in the sand with only their eyes exposed. This is just the way they hunt, but they're often captured looking like grumpy old sea creatures. In my opinion, there's a perfect reason why these creatures belong in the deep sea. It's interesting to learn more about them, but I think they're better off left alone. Now before you go, I'd like to know which of these creatures shocked you the most. If you know any other deep sea monsters, make sure to comment down below. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on the screen right now, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care, everybody.